everybody. I hope you're doing well. I hope you're going outside and enjoying this awesome weather that we've been having. Thank you for joining me for yet another read aloud. Today, I've got a story for you by one of my favorite authors of all time, Peter H. Reynolds. And the story is called, oh, it's right. Ooh. Happy Dreamer. Happy Dreamer is a story of finding your own path to happiness. So follow along with me today as we find out how this boy finds his own way there. Before I jump in, I just want to say a quick thank you to Scholastic for allowing myself and many other educators to be sharing these stories with you. This is Happy Dreamer by Peter H. Reynolds. Hope you enjoy. So here is the inside of the front cover. Happy Dreamer by Peter H. Reynolds. I am a happy dreamer. I'm really good at dreaming. Daydreams, big dreams, little dreams, creative dreams, dreamer Maximus. Sometimes the world tells me, sit still, be quiet, pay attention, focus. But my dreams have a mind of their own. Sometimes my mind takes flight. I hear a beat and I gotta move. Then I hear another and another. Wish you could hear inside my head trumpety zigzag jazz. Sometimes I'm a quiet dreamer. When I make the time to sit still and hear myself think, to let go and see what takes shape. Do you see that? Sometimes I'm a swing high dreamer, way up high, beyond the clouds so high, I can touch the sky. I can also be a loud dreamer. Hello world, I'm a shout at the top of my lungs dreamer, even if I'm just loud inside my head. Dreamer. Sometimes I'm a colorful dreamer, painting my own path full of surprises at every turn. I can dream even when the lights are out. All circuits on fireworks. I light up, I'm all ears, eyes, heart, and mind. I have so many dreams, it can get messy. Creative chaos. Cleaning up hides my treasures. If you make me, I will put my things away. But then there is less me to show. These are the moments I feel alone, boxed in. And yet, I always find a way back plunging into amazing, delightful, happy dreams. I 
I'm really good at being me. A dreamer, surprising, caring, funny, gentle, smart. And when I tumble back to earth, I know I'm okay. Dreamers have a way of bouncing back and moving forward. Oop. And this is my favorite part of the book. Let me show you why. So it says, there are so many ways to be a happy dreamer. What, what kind of dreamer are you? So this is really cool because these pages open up and on the inside, there are lots of different kinds of dreamers. So right now I'm gonna open either side up and I want you to look closely and try to find the kind of dreamer or dreamers that you are, okay? Let's see if you can see that. I can see that, right? Probably. <laughs> okay, so look closely find your kind of dreamer or dreamers. If you need more time, pause the video. And if not, I'm going to close this side and show you the other. Okay. Again, if you need more time, I encourage you to pause the video and look closely. Pretty cool, right? Okay. But the best way to be a happy dreamer, just be you, which is why this book is dedicated to you. Yes, you. And there is the picture, like the inside of the front cover again. And that was Happy Dreamer, written and illustrated by Peter H. Reynolds. I really love this book. I feel inspired every time I read it. And I just want to remind you that we're all dreamers. And no matter what kind of dreamer you are, you are brave, you're smart, you're funny, you're caring, you're kind, you're courageous. The list goes on and on. And I want you to know that the world is a more beautiful place because you are here. So dreamers, keep pushing forward and I will see you next time for another Read Lab. Thanks for listening.